Curious Jack says there's a thousand and one things you should know. Number 144, in France, you can marry the dead. The office of the president of France accepts hundreds of requests each year for marriages where one participant is alive and the other passed on. Using the Greek prefix necro, meaning death, and a mashup of the word matrimony, you get the very morbid sounding necrogami, or marrying the dead. The French government refers to the act with more palatable terms like posthumous weddings and post-mortem marriages. But how did it start? In 1959, a dam burst in the town of Fréjoux, France, drowning hundreds. While the French president, Charles de Gaulle, visited the town surveying the damage, Irene Jodart, a woman whose fiancé had been killed in the flooding, pleaded with de Gaulle to allow her to marry her deceased fiancé anyway. Within a month, the French parliament drafted a law to allow Jodart to marry her deceased fiancé. Today, posthumous weddings are still commonplace in France, but you can't just marry any corpse. You still have to prove that they would want to marry you. For instance, if a woman is pregnant with the child of a dead man, that is not necessarily enough proof for the French government that a marriage should take place. <gasps> the hopeful bride must show that her deceased intended actually had real plans to marry her. If he had published a wedding announcement before he died, that might be enough proof for the French government to push the marriage through. Ceremonies and posthumous weddings vary from the very private to public affairs, but one thing is for sure, the phrase, till death do we part, is probably skipped. Do you know of any other weird marriage customs? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you like this video, subscribe.